so much, Father, for being here with us here this morning, Thank Father, you, Father, that we might come and Thank give you all the admiration yes. and all the honor, Father, that you so deserve. Mm -hmm. oh, yes. Father, we're here and stuff because we know that, hey, you ask us to worship you in the church the first day of the week. Mm -hmm. And we know that, hey, we are here, that we might come and just praise you and understand. And, and give you all the glory and stuff for what you've done in our lives. Father, yes, we just thank you so much for being our God. Thank you, thank you Father. Father, we ask and pray as we go through this service that we might yes. eliminate all the things, Father, that's bothering us this morning. Yes. Father, we might eliminate all the things, Father, and stuff that you told us not to worry about. Yes. We just ask and pray, Father, that you just be with us and guide us thank this morning, you. Father, that we might get your word. Yes. Yes. Thank you for your word. Thank you. Yes. Thank you, Father, thank for what your word is doing in our lives. Thank you, Father, for what you can do for us, Father. Thank, Thank you, Father, for being our God. Thank you. Father, we ask and pray, Father, as we go through this service, Father, that we may receive your, your blessed word, Father, that is able to change our lives, yes. change our hearts, yes. change our minds, yes. everything that we do. Oh, yes. Father, we ask that you put, we pray and ask, Father, that you forgive us of anything that we've done contrary to our yes. mind. Yes. We ask and pray, Father, that you just continue to be with us and bless us. We ask and pray, Father, that we might, our faith might increase day by day. Yes. We ask and pray, Father, that as we go through the service, Father, that we might learn how to love one another more, yes. Father. We might learn how to forgive one another. Yes. Father, as we come before you this morning, Father, we ask and pray for those who are sick, those who are bereaved, those, Father, who are not here this morning, Father, that needs to be here this morning, Father. We just pray, Father, for those lost souls, Father, who do not yet know your word. Pray, Father, that you just continue to be each and every one, yeah. each and every one of us here that's individually and collectively. Yes. Yeah. And we just thank you, Father, for being our God. Thank yes. you, Father. We just thank you, Father. Just like you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Father. Thank, thank you, God. Yes. Father, we ask these and many other blessings in Jesus Christ's name. Jesus. Amen. Amen. Amen.
when Jesus was having a conversation with the woman at the well. Yes. And she was asking him, now, where is it that we need to worship God? Is it, is it in Jerusalem? Is it, is it here? Is it there? And then Jesus said that God is looking. He's looking for those that will worship Him in spirit and in truth. Somehow, the thought does not escape me this morning that perhaps God is looking down and God is saying, I'm looking for somebody that will worship me in spirit and in truth. So I, I'm standing this morning because somehow I would like to encourage you to forget about the person next to you. I would, I would like to encourage you to forget about what's in this week's bullet. Every once in a while, children of God ought to worship God in spirit and in truth. They ought to open their mouth. They ought to open their mind. They ought to open their heart. It, it, it is as if this is the Lord's day. These are God's people. God is here. And God wants to see if we really are in love with them. In just a moment, Brother Watson is going to announce the speaker of the day, but I, I thought that since singing was one of the five items of worship, that we didn't want to miss that. That, that, that somehow the song leader would pick a song that would remind us that we're in God's house, we're God's people, this is the Lord's day and we ought to praise Him. And so I, I beg you just for a moment. Sometimes it's hard to sit up here because when you sit up here, you can look at people's faces yeah, and, and, and you can see people that don't sing. And you can see people who, who are really not here though they are present. And, and so I wasn't going to get up, but I reminded myself, John, you know what? This is the Lord's day. These are God's people. Just for stand, stop and stand up and shake somebody and remind somebody, my God is worthy of praise. Oh, 
Amen. Let you see Jesus. Amen. Yes, Praise the Lord. My preacher, my preacher. Y'all going to help us? Amen. My preacher said that he wanted us to speak to him. Amen. If the Lord spoke you up this morning, somebody say thank you. Amen. Come on, man. If the Lord protected your children. Amen.
no better place to be than in the house of the Lord. As I look back over my life, as I think things over, and I hope you are reflecting on your life, we have a whole lot to thank God for. We thank Him just for the very existence of our lives. We're thankful for the ability to inhale and exhale. Yes, just, just try holding your breath. Or, if you are like me, just be an asthma patient. Sometimes we get short on breath. I'm so thankful that I serve a God who, when even the medication does not work, you still now to the inhale. I serve a mighty, mighty good God. And He is shown up this morning worthy to be praised. I am just so grateful and I am humbled to be here this morning at the Garden Oaks Church. This church and your minister and pastor preacher, the angel of this house, he and his wife and family, they hold a very dear place in my heart. And I want to thank God for putting it on his heart to invite this little preacher uh, from San Antonio by way of Birmingham, Alabama to be standing in this place this morning. I know God has brought me a mighty long way. All the way down through the civil rights movement. God brought me. All the way through all of my ups and downs, my toils and my frowns, my, my getting it right and sometimes not getting it right. God has brought me. And I know I'm not the only one here. We have, we have so much to be thankful for. So I'm thankful to uh, Brother Tillman uh, for allowing me this opportunity. I'm thankful to be in the presence of a good friend of mine, Brother Howard Watson, uh, who is not at the Antioch Church this morning and decides to stay here and encourage his friend. And let me, let me just share something with you. Um, when I made my return back to Texas, uh, there were very few people who opened their arms to me. Uh, but when Howard found out that I was back in Texas, he was one of the first to contact me and say, come on down to Midway and preach for me, Doc. And I went on down to Midway. And the next thing you know, John Silver called me. And I was at God Oaks, and it just started something out of Midway Texas. Amen. Can anything good come out of Midway? <laughs> and how have you been with that church? He and Evelyn, they've been with that church for a long time, going up and down that road. And so we thank him for his dedication and all that he continues to do for the cause of Christ. I'm thankful to see each and every one of you. I have a number of friends, a number of people in the audience who have encouraged my ministry for a long time. I've been on this journey now for some 35 plus years. And I'm just 36 years old. Well, well. Uh, let the truth be told. Let the truth be told. Let the truth be told. I am swiftly going toward 50. I'll turn 50 in September, y'all. And I'm feeling mighty good about it. Amen. 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 And uh, so I just want to thank you for your presence. I want to thank you for being here. And hopefully this morning I can say something that will certainly bless your life. Joshua 